Hello and welcome to Test Drive Navigon Navigator 2 with me. As you can see I have the DVD case over here and uh, I want to show you that it's the first product that I've, e I've ever seen with a uh, targeted device as a, as a UMPC which is really nice. It's uh, Q1, the first generation Q1 on the picture there. So it's uh, UMPCs are are uh, coming, that's for sure. Uh, this product has uh, maps. Uh, what's included in the European version is uh, the the whole Europe. Uh, you can see some of the some of the uh, locations there, but basically it's really nicely covered. And on the second CD, maps of USA, Canada, uh, and uh, Gulf. So, so you get pretty much everything. But uh, depending your installation code, you can either install the Europe or USA. Uh, the installation was uh, quite easy, but it uh, you need the code with the CD to actually input that to the software and then go to Navigon website, register there and input the code you get from the device there and then again take a new go code and and uh, input that to the uh, to your software to make it work. And actually this software is the same that comes with uh, Samsung Q1 Ultra. Uh, as far as I know it's, it's like a uh, preview version of, of of that, not the not uh, uh, not uh, the navigation part of it. It is not working, so you need to actually purchase the software to to uh, take a full use of it. But uh, I think you should look into into the uh, purchasing it when if you have a UMPC. Okay, so let's look at the software itself. Oh, I quit it so you can see how fast it loads. So it's actually pretty fast to load, which is nice. It gives you the nag of, of safety or something. And uh, and uh, the user interface is really uh, designed for finger uh, use, so it's really nice. You, you, you really can't miss the buttons. And the basic functions, of course, uh, inc include navigation, you can navigate to address a special destination or select your destination on map or recent destination or favorites. And uh, let's go back. Then you can also uh, plan your route. You can plan multiple uh, road points. You can uh, again uh, add those points through address, de uh, special destination or POI uh, or select from the map, favorites or recent destinations. And you can also oh, of course just browse the map. And this is the 2D map view, really nice view. You can zoom with the screen or, or with the buttons and and you can also let's go back, you can also move it with your hand and and really as you can see the graphics are pretty nice uh, it's it's uh, fast it's 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 really nice looking all the buttons are nice sized and they have a have a nice graphics really really nice and the 3d view also okay let's go back you can actually have a night mode too from the same thing Let's go back and then uh, about the settings, you get pretty many settings. You you have two user modes, either basic or extended. So the extended user mode can can uh, adjust the settings and so on, and basic uh, user mode doesn't. So it's good if there's mul multiple users and and you don't want people to mess up the system. So. Uh, also, you can choose what what's uh, on the on the map when navigation is on. So you can choose if the street names are there or point of interest or info bar. Uh, also, uh, if you are showing the 
uh, time to final destination and, and so on if you if you want them to show or not. I have most of the features on myself. So traffic signs is on also so it, it can show you uh, like uh, speed limits and, and, and that kind of stuff. Uh, speed limits you can also actually adjust when it shows that you are speeding. Volume control uh, it has some skinning options also I, I have only one skin there if I yeah so I don't have a other skins let's go back there skin Uh, you can choose if it starts on 2D or 3D mode, uh, auto zoom, uh, and uh, and also if you are if you want the map show north or driving. Uh, of course, driving is my thing. Speed profile, standard car, truck, uh, motorcycle, lorry, bike. Oh, fast car! I want to be on fast car. Of course, now it's there. Oh, let's come back. Of course, I want to choose fast core. That's th that's the thing. And then uh, you can use uh, TMC if you have a TMC radio or USB plug-in. You can use that to have a traffic information. You can choose if you want to use motorways, ferries, or toll roads. Uh, you can log the GPS signal. You can use that uh, to log your your driving you can make uh, logs for uh, if you're using using your own car for company use and you want to bill your uh, mileage that's easy and you can you can set the time and distance uh, to either european or, or 24 hour, hour or 12 hour and and kilometers or miles G gps settings setting the, the baud rate and, and com port and you can simulate also the GPS you can enter your home address and uh, if you have a radio connected down you can you can also mute the radio okay so this is Navigon version 2.0 it has some kind of intro. Oh, that's nice. I haven't seen that. So it shows the difference. So it's like a manual on the software itself. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So let's go back to the home screen. Uh, I've been now using it uh, for a few weeks, uh, two weeks to be exact, and uh, I really like it. I like the graphics. I like, like, uh, like how it works uh, while driving. So, let's go drive some, and you can see see it by yourself too. There's an next screen about safe driving. Let's shut it down and. Uh, Let's go straight to navigation. I'm in Finland as you can maybe see and uh, I want to go to a specific address so let's choose a street. As you can see it has uh, on on screen keyboards. It's an ABC keyboard and uh, I would actually like to see a, see a, a QWERTY keyboard or, he, or, or a possibility to change it to that but uh, Let's go and choose, uh, as you can see, while I'm uh, entering keys, it's already suggesting some street names, which is really nice. I don't have to... Oh, there it is, the place I'm going, I want to go there. I want to pick up a street number, let's go to number 5, yeah. That's it, let's start the navigation. It asks for the speed, type of routing, motorways, ferries, toll roads, yeah, everything goes. And now it's calculating and it's there. I have choose my uh, default view as a 3D view, so we are 
are all good to go. Let's go. Let's check that the volume is as up and as it goes, so you can hear it too. Take the second exit from the roundabout in one kilometer. Okay, I think you can hear just fine. I'm driving near the sea right now. And you might see the glimpse of the sea over there. This is a park area uh, here in the Helsinki. to the recent destination, so I'm, I'm still still want to go to the destination I first choose. Hey, let's go back one. Actually, I can see the see the um, final destination if I want. So it's it's nice. It's closed again. There it is. I can save it to to uh, favorites. And now let's. Button gives us a 2D 
pretty view and I can actually zoom up and down. It's, it's really nicely working. I can I can choose the tune level I want and, uh, and uh, also I can browse the map but I'm not doing that while I'm driving. Let's go back to 3D as I like it more when I'm actually navigating. You can see there is a lot of poise on the map like uh, car dealers and uh, train stops gas stations. Uh, they, I was first thinking that they might be a might be bad thing as as, as the map goes goes pretty crowded, but actually not. It's done really nicely. So in this software, it's uh, it's not uh, not a bad thing. And of course, I can take them away, but uh, actually so far I like like it as it is. The, uh, on some other. Navigation software, they are. Please bear right in 700 meters. On your way of your side, but uh, this software, I, I like it. There I can see the GPS information. I'm connected to 10 satellites right now, showing the latitude and the longitude and, and the speed. I'm doing 37 right now. Road and the road, and as, as you can see, it's really fast on, on 
going your way as uh, I don't know. Please but, turn left in um, 160 meters. I will go back. Please bear right in 80 meters. So, uh, usually this uh, navigation software runs run on the full screen, so there's actually no other way uh, on the software itself to uh, minimize it or than, than closing it, so I have to close it to get to the get to the desktop, and uh, I might need to, I want to, might want to do some other stuff with the computer, like uh, checking emails and stuff. And uh, as as I'm connected with the HSDPA, uh, I I want to use other stuff too. So that's uh, one one thing I didn't like, but. Uh, but as for uh, there is actually another way, which is easy on the UMPC because if you press the uh, SOS button or, or Control Delete button, yeah, then you can access the desktop, and check your emails, and then go back back to the navigation. Okay, let's uh, play with the map only mode. So now I'm not navigating; I'm just uh, looking at the map. Uh, so it shows the street I am. I can I can zoom back and forth. It's I think it's a nice way you don't always uh, want to uh, set up an address where you're going. You might want to just use it while you're driving. In any case, so I will show how it acts while driving. So let's zoom a bit down so you can easily use it without setting uh, uh, setting the destination and some not all softwares actually work this way some softwares need uh, a destination to to uh, to be set before showing the real time map and uh, that's uh, that's not nice okay that was the in car use so right now I think this is a keeper, so I am going to keep on using this. I have uh, many other softwares too, but right now I think this is the best for me. It is quite expensive, it's all over 200 um, euros, but uh, it works, it works nicely, it has never crashed, it's fast, uh, it's, it's really... Uh, nice and easy to use and also I, I really enjoy the graphics it has all the necessary information but not too much um, one thing uh, which I uh, which I didn't like on the first was the fact that it's, it runs on full screen so I, I couldn't access the taskbar or other softwares but I actually mapped it by key to uh, open the start menu so now I can easily like open the browser or whatever uh, on the car too, so I don't. I can. I can easily just with one click to uh, to come come back from the navigation and use uh, e look at emails or, or whatever. So now it's easier. So thank you for watching. If you want a serious, good, uh, nice looking navigation software, I think uh, this is uh, one that you should really look into. I I will place a link for this uh, software to to uh, to my site so you can check check the prices and uh, and stuff like that but right now i have to say i like it thank you for watching bye